Okay, my friends, I made the executive decision to lose this bolt here yeah, and that one. This fall and then remove the solder part of the rim and then try it on the ground or take it in. So let's take it off. Okay, guys, in the heat wave, um, I managed to get uh, three bolts out, one broke off. And uh, so uh, let's see if I can remove it now from the from the rim. Okay guys, there it is, eventually, so uh, it's either, either I'm going to try to put it on now, further, or I will take it in. Okay, so let me see what's the next step. Okay guys, apart from the short update on the farm wall, I will make today, it's Sunday, so I will make a Chinese stir fry. So this is the onions, and there is uh, um, strips of uh, ten rice steak, and sweet and sour sauce, and um, this is uh, soya, and a little bit of uh, spices and some olive oil okay and I have only a teaspoonful of my spices not too much because as I mentioned this is a sweet and sour meal okay guys there goes the the meat I'm just gonna show you about two hands full and I'll bring you back this is now all stripes Okay guys, <clears throat> all is in, so I'm going to put some water in now, and I'll bring you back when it cook, and we take it from there. Okay guys, it's cooking, sort of, so let's put up some soybean sauce now, so that it can cook with it all the time, I think that will be okay for now. So, uh, <clears throat> I'll show you later, just hang on guys. Okay guys, this is how it look at this point. And this is now the soya sauce that make it a little bit blackish. Ooh. But it will... Uh, we will wait until it is soft. Guys, and in on this stage, I'm going to put in some sweet and sour sauce, but not too much at this point. So that will be enough for now. <clears throat> okay, the reason for not put more in of the sweet and sour now it might burn to the pot and the taste at this point is strongly uh, soybean sauce and then a little bit of sweetness so we will uh, with a with a uh, net just before the vegetables we will put in some more okay the meat is almost soft guys <coughs> not 100 percent 
what I've got here, um, it's not sponsored vegetables, but it's a uh, McCain Hawaiian stir fry vegetable mix with julienne marrows <coughs> and julienne carrots, broccoli cuts, pineapple pieces, and diced mix peppers. So this go in. I've got two packets. I'll see how much can I get in. This is 700 gram, I think. Yes, serving four to five. But we always, always make more food than we can consume at one point because we use it the next day as well. Guys, I haven't got a cast iron lid for my small number one pot, but that lid that I repaired for my wife's um, rice pot worked perfectly here. It's time to put in the vegetables. I've decided to put in that. I'll bring you back. I just my plan is just to get this melted and then I will put in the rest of that uh, sweet and sour. Okay guys, I've got a, 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 a one of that bags and half in the pot and I'm going to put in the rest of all the sauce now. So it is a whole bottle and I'm going to let it cook for five to seven minutes from the moment it cook and it will be ready. I will show you then. Look, it's not boiling yet since I put the, the veggies in, but you must just check this. Imagine guys, this is sweet and sour. Uh, poiki, it's not a traditional, but can you imagine all the veggies and that nice soft meat. So we will wait until it boils. Okay, everything is done and we are going to have this with white rice, long grain white rice guys. So I wish you could taste the sauce. It's something really out of this world. Okay, so I hope you like it guys and see you on the next one. And see what happened with the farm wall. Okay, bye bye.